Okay, so I'm one of the sports scientists here. So the main sort of day-to-day -day responsibilities are a lot of monitoring around what the players do within matches and within training. Uh, we've got a pretty tight sort of structure on how we like to do things. We, we believe it works and helps them sort of turn up to match day in the best sort of shape possible to carry out what the coaches want. So it's just keeping everyone on track. If um, there's any abnormalities, if someone's done a little bit too much or a little bit too little, we can kind of rectify that over the week or um, just keep everyone on track so they're injury free and as fit as possible. The catapult GPS units in between their shoulder blades uh, and that just gives us sort of quite rich data on how far they've sort of covered in the training session or a particular drill, what sort of speed zones they're hitting. So is that a lot of distance but in a low speed zone or are we getting them to sprint or somewhere in the middle? Uh, what sort of accelerations they're hitting and sort of changes of direction, starts and stops, impacts. So it gives us a bit more sort of data around what they're doing out there. Just sort of learning and evolving what we do just to be as efficient and effective as possible, really. Lazowski. Lazowski sees there's a bit of space there. And he offloads wonderful stuff by him. It's on now. And nobody's going to catch Spencer. Or oh, is the speedster after him? Spencer wins the race. I'd say Speno probably put in 100% effort, there's no question there. Um, we speed test at the start of pre-season, or five weeks into pre-season. Uh, that's generally when the players are fresh, they've gone through a nice training block. We give them a bit of a download, they come in and they run as fast as they can. We'll set that as their max speed. So we'll measure that with timing gates and with the GPS units. Um, Speno actually at the weekend hit about 93% of what he's capable of. But he had just been defending for a, you know, quite a decent sort of passage of play. He'd come on as a sub, so his work rate was through the roof, trying to get work done, trying to sort of push us through to the end of the, um, end of the game. So it's, you know, as good as it can be expected there, 93%. He actually went faster, if you remember the Bristol game, when Cruzo, of all people, put that kick through, and he chased down, putting the kick pressure on that. That was actually his, probably his top match speed of the season so far. But as a sprinter, yeah, he's pretty good.